We've all got that one friend who's consistently creating amazing art, but never sharing it. You ask, yo, why don't you post that? And they say, it's not finished yet. See, I'm a perfectionist. Are you that friend? Are you fearful of sharing your art or music? Most of the time, when we create art, it feels so meaningful and vulnerable, and we use it as a journal entry or as a way to get through difficult times. It's easy to get in your head about posting and sharing. But if you learn to share your art in a transparent way, others can peek into your changes in taste and development as you're experiencing it. Not hiding your truth from the world is liberating. Liberating. You're telling the world, this is me, and you can say whatever you like. It doesn't affect me or my confidence. Metrics and comments can tickle your insecurities, and to keep posting regardless is a huge test to overcome these insecurities. The overarching key to build this ability to share your art freely and transparently is uncoupling your identity and self-worth from your art, then creating structure to make it easy to share. So let's think about how we can reframe our sharing anxiety in five easy steps. Step one, build a sense of self-worth outside of your expression. The insecurity around sharing art can be based on a lack of self-worth outside of the art. This might be from never receiving the right kind of attention as a child, only being praised when your performance was high. This means you've built your mental foundations on your abilities. So if your abilities aren't perfect yet, and they never will be, then you'll be reluctant to share your art because you're allowing the public domain to judge a massive part of your self-worth. We need to separate you as a human being and the art you create. You're a human being capable of love. And that's why you create art. Art is just love put into a form. Your worth is not derived by this though. Your existence alone is worthy. And your art is just an extension of this to bring depth to your personality. Your personality, how you treat people and how you remain integral to your values. That's the foundation of self-worth. Do you treat yourself and others with kindness? With unconditional love? Do you do what you say you're gonna do? When you do, you know that you can post freely because you're secure in your identity away from the artwork. The last three steps will help you build your self-worth even more so stick around step two refer to yourself from a third person perspective when you get in your head about how to share your art or your journey it can be very easy to overthink the things that you do this can often stifle the transparency and impulse needed to fully share your story one technique i use when i'm resisting creativity and not taking action is referring to myself in third person for example if i'm having thoughts about if i want to post something i'll just say to myself rob put all this effort into this video but he doesn't want to post it because he's insecure about his voice. When you refer to yourself as third person, you bring a separation between you and your thoughts. It's easy to encourage yourself like a friend would when you step outside of yourself. The key is to not judge yourself from that third person, but to act as an advocate for the inner you. Rob knows that if he shares this video and puts the effort in, he'll be able to move on and get better in the next video. Be your best friend and try to bring an objective perspective to the reality of why you might be facing resistance. Step three, reframe the big reveal into small documentations. When we've been working on something for so long and with such passion, we build anticipation for the release of it. The longer it takes to finish, the more it will feel like a big reveal. Every time you create a piece of art, you're stamping a moment in time. You're producing a form which gives perceivable insight into exactly what your mindset and influences are in that moment in time. So if you're still working on an old piece, the further away that moment gets and the less that you document it, the more challenging it gets for you as an artist now to relate to your past self because you've changed. It's valuable for both yourself and others to see the journey. If you wait until the big reveal, to reveal anything about it, others miss the connection to your journey and the comparison of this thing with other things that you've done. They can't see the growth. Skills and taste become more refined over time. And art is something that you're always improving in. When they see how the art is developing through the documentation process, you reveal yourself changing and show other people what kind of growth is possible. They can feel more connection to you, like they know who you are. A tip for small documentations is to film every aspect of your creative process. You can save these up and share them over time. Even compile a longer form video when you've been collecting for a while. This way your standards will naturally grow over time and you can practice the act of letting go of these moments then moving on to the next. It's the practice of being in the awareness that the bigger picture will become clear over time. Step four, reframe inspiration to discipline. Let's be real, it feels a little bit cringy to post about yourself all the time. Putting yourself out there can be hard and the reception can be underwhelming. This means it's important for you to turn the act of sharing your art into a practice and habit. And this means discipline. Waiting for inspiration to strike is a dangerous move 
and can lead to inconsistency. Consistent action is what makes art creation and sharing it a way of life, a routine and a habit, which becomes hard to break when you do start to integrate it. Inspiration is sporadic and a bit unreliable. Discipline offers some ability to control when things get done and the integrity which you build in yourself from creating and sharing consistently will make being open-minded and transparent about your art even easier. It's a massive snowball effect. If you document with discipline, your self-worth will be increased. Your social presence will be increased. And being open and eager to talk about your art will become a lot more natural. Step five, reframe perfectionism into finishedism. I created that word. Perfectionism is a word people refer to when their art doesn't meet the high expectations they put on themselves. So the art remains in a constant state of never finished. It's an insecurity about skill level. A solid reframe is required. Reinvent your standard. Change where you're putting the energy of perfectionism. And instead of focusing on something being perfect, focus on shortening the gap between creation and sharing. You can do this by setting a deadline for when something needs to be shared. You need to lower the standard slightly so that you can get the dopamine you get when you press the share button and you officially finish something. And you may be asking, well then how is my art gonna be good? Well, the work gets better over time naturally. So if you practice finishing things, you're just gonna get faster at finishing things and you'll be more accustomed to the details throughout the whole process. So over time, with that consistency, your pieces will become more perfect anyway. Your skill level will grow. Finishedism is the compulsive need to press share and finish with it. And this process of finishing things will increase your self-worth and make it way easier. Sharing art doesn't need to be so serious. First, think about building a sense of self-worth outside of your expression. When you start to overthink, remember to think about yourself in third person to triumph over creative resistance. Then when you do, document every small thing about the project. Make discipline a priority over inspiration. And instead of perfectionism, do finishedism by getting to that share button. Please comment below why you feel it's hard to remain consistent in sharing your art. And subscribe to my channel to see more videos about reframing the creative process. Bye.